Hello ladies and gents, Elise here and I'm coming tonight with a makeup haul. Um, these items I've been kind of collecting over the past couple of weeks. I didn't purchase them all in one day, but um, it's kind of a lot of stuff. So um, I hope you're prepared to go on a little adventure with me on things I've gotten. Um, all of these items come from either the beauty supply or the drugstore. So I always do stuff about MAC and things I've ordered online. But I also have a ton of stuff that I wear from just like Walgreens, CVS, um, places like that. So um, if you want to find some excellent, excellent items at a much lower price, then um, keep on watching because I have some excellent things I want to show you guys. Okay, so first off, we're going to start off with these mascaras that I got from Target. They were actually on clearance for $2.24. That was awesome. Um, <laughs> they're by Maybelline. You know, the infamous pink and green mascara. That was probably the first mascara I've ever worn, ever bought was I need my pink and green mascara. So, um, they had, I think it was a limited edition. They had all these different colors. I just picked up three of them. They were on clearance for two bucks. I mean, how could I pass that up? I've always been a fan of like blue mascara. I had one by Dior a while back. It was like $20 and I hardly ever wore it. I ended up throwing it out because it just got too old. So, um, I was happy that Maybelline did these colors, um, because I don't like to spend that much money on something I'm only going to wear every so often. I got three of them. The first one I got is Vision in Violet. Um, it's like a purple. I haven't opened it yet, but it's purple. Um, I got a green, green with Envy. Also from Target. And I got this blue that is called Icy Blue. This one I have used before, so I can show it to you since I already opened it. It's a pretty bright blue. I can put it on. I don't have no mascara on. If you be able to tell. It shows up really good, actually. A friend of mine, one of my YouTube, not YouTube, um, Instagram friends was talking about this e.l.f. mascara primer that's supposed to like really make your color pop. I've been looking all over for that stuff and I cannot find it. And I know that higher end brands and other brands have mascara primer, but I just wear color mascara like so rarely. I don't want to spend too much money on it. So I'm going to wait until I come across that e.l.f. one for a dollar. But... That's it. So you can see it really good. And that's with no primer, so. It also pops better if you put it on top of black mascara. But yeah, I like that a lot. So that's that. What else I got in this bag of goodies? Um, also from Target, um, I guess I can show you a few lipsticks that I have picked up. Now y'all know I love me some CoverGirl. And, um, I got this gold, not gold, clearly it's red. I have a gold and I'm going to show you next. But this one's red. It's called Hot Passion number 305. And it's a really beautiful red. As you can see, I've used a lot of this. I'm always looking for a nice red. It's really pretty. It matches my wall. <laughs> I like it. Um, I also got a few NYX ones. These actually came from my local beauty supply. It's cheaper there than it is like in Target because it's only $2.99. I think it's $3.99 in Target. So that works. This is NYX number 566. And it's called Decadent. I love this color. I've used this one already too. It's like a chocolate brown with like a hint of plum to it. So pretty. Perfect for fall. Perfect. And I got this pink. It's called, the number is 592 and it's called Baby Pink. So that's easy to remember. That's it there. It's got a little bit of dark on it. This is the lipstick that I use. I don't know if you watched my other video where I said if you're wearing a dark color, even something like this, on your lips and it starts to gather like in the cracks of your lips or on the dead skin or whatever, if it starts to make like dark spots, you can use a really light pink like this over it just 
ever so gently and it'll smooth all that out so you will not have those lumps and dents and um, imperfections in your darker lipstick so that's why it has a little bit dark on top of it because I've been using it like that to kind of smooth out the darker colors as I wear them but these lipsticks are $2.99 or $3.99 depending on where you get them and the CoverGirl ones are between $4.99 and $5.99 depending on if you're at Walgreens, Target, CVS wherever you're at that can be a dollar or two cheaper or more expensive. I also got this gold that's by the CoverGirl Queen collection and um, it's called Spicy Seduction number 465 I don't know why I keep doing this because my camera never focuses good enough but Spicy Seduction 465 if you're interested I love CoverGirl Queen it's just so beautiful it really really compliments women of color like it really does it's very similar to the BH Cosmetics Foxy Gold that I have. Just that. I even like the smell of it. I can't really describe what the smell is, but I like it. So that was by CoverGirl Queen Collection. This other one was just a regular CoverGirl. So that's the difference in the packaging. And I also picked up this one by CoverGirl. Um, it's a really pretty light purple. It's called Divine. It's number 330. I've used this a lot. But I will swatch it for you. I love it. I really like this purple. Like, y'all know I love me some purple. And um, this is no exception. It's beautiful. I love the color of it. I love the coverage I get. It's long lasting. I have no problems with it. Go cover girl. Shout out to you. Mm-hmm. Next, we can um, stay on the Target bandwagon. I racked up on e.l.f. stuff. I got this eye primer and liner sealer that I have not used yet, obviously. But it probably was either a dollar or three dollars. Um, I have another primer that I always use. Um, I'm, it's, I'm not featuring in the video because I forgot to bring it with me. But um, it comes in a tube. It has like a wand that you dip into the tube. It looks like a lip gloss kind of, but it's an eye primer. I use it on a day-to-day -day basis. So I wanted to try this one to see if I liked it or not. We'll see. Um, I got this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, number 604. I also got this one in Beauty Supply. They have it at Target, but it was cheaper in my neighborhood Beauty Supply. Jesus, it won't show. Well, I use this as an um, eyelid primer. I use it on top of my primer because if I use this by itself under my eyeshadow, sometimes it can kind of crease on me. So I put a primer on. Then I put this on, just like a white pencil, and then put my color on top. I actually have it on today underneath my eyeshadow. I got from the Beauty Supply this Express Liner and Shadow by Ruby Kisses. And the color... Ain't on here. It just say ultra brilliant colors. It's a navy blue. I think it's gonna be really pretty. I have not used it yet, as you can see, but that blue I like a lot. I also got this gray by NYX. Um, it's a nude matte shadow, and it's called Craving. Um, here you go. It's like a nice gray. And funny story about this, um, back a couple months ago when the Ruby Hearts MAC Fall Collection came out, she had one of her palettes, it was all golds in there, and it had one gray, like a matte gray just like this. And I was looking at it, and I was like, I really like that gray. It was different, the fact that it was matte, because I have a lot of like shimmery silvers, but not just like a matte gray. So I was asking the um, lady at MAC, do you have anything like that? It's like, just like the MAC gray because I don't need all those golds. And she's like, no, nah, we don't have nothing. You might as well just go ahead and get the palette, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, girl, please. So my homegirl that worked for MAC, hey, boo, if you're watching, um, actually helped me find Copper Plate by MAC, which is a matte gray just like this. So I was looking at the other girl like, Giving her the side eye. Like, you just didn't want to help me find a cheaper eyeshadow. You wanted me to buy that whole palette. But, um, I ended up finding Copper Plate. And I really liked it when I swatched it. The next day, I was in the beauty supply. And I saw this. And I was like, wait. This looks just like Copper Plate. And this was $2. So, Copper Plate had to go back. Um, and I got this. But this is a really good dupe for Copper Plate. Just a matte gray. I love the way it goes on. It gives you good coverage. You know, I, I, I never have problems with NYX shadows. So, if you like a new gray, 
grab this. I recommend. I hate it. when they they try to do that to me and Mac. It's like I rather you just help me and be honest, and I will come back to you. But if you lie to me and try to get more money out of me, I won't ever come back to that counter again, and I'll just go to another location. No problem. But I just went off on a total tangent about that. This was two dollars from the beauty supply. They also have it at Target and everywhere else they sell NYX. Um, I got this Ruby Kisses All Over Glow Bronzing Powder. I saw another YouTuber using this, and it looked really pretty on her. So I decided to go ahead and pick it up. It came in like three or four different shades. I got this one. I didn't really know which one to go with. It's like a bronzer. I just kind of use it around the perimeter of my face. Um, this one is light glow. Let me see if I can get it open. I have a hard time opening this for some reason. And that's how it looks. This was $3.99 at the beauty supply. I got a few more e.l.f. products that I purchased. This blush and contour set. Oh, nope, this is just a blush. This one. It's called Mellow Mauve, number 30327. That's the e.l.f. blush. It was in a pack like that. And I have this eyebrow kit from e.l.f. that I don't like. First of all, before I even open a dang on thing, the plastic piece broke off. But I'm like, it was a dollar, so I guess I can't complain too much. But it has like this wax and then like the powder. I don't like it. I tried it once and I just didn't like the way it looked. It just made my brows look dirty. It didn't make them look... I don't know. I didn't like it. And I'm like, maybe I wasn't using it right. I don't know. But that is that. I also got this e.l.f. Jumbo Eyeshadow Stick. It's like a gold champagne-y color. This last one. I haven't used it yet, but I do like the color a lot. I'm, I always want something gold on my eyes, so I know this will definitely come in handy. I have a blush um, and contour set where it's like pink on one side and brown on the other side that I use all the time. I don't know where it's at, but I like it by e.l.f. Um, I also got a few brushes. And then after that, I've got two more items to show you and we're done. Um, these two brushes... This one is from the icing, which I used to work for icing, and um, we have a lot of brushes. The premium brushes come from the same factory the Sephora brushes do. I learned that when I was working there, and the quality of them, honestly, is phenomenal. I cannot lie to you. Like, they're plush, they're really soft and thick. This brush was like $8. I've had this for a while. I didn't get it recently. I wanted to show it to you. Um, but this one did break on me. The packaging of the brush ain't the best, but the brush itself, honestly, is worth the money. They normally buy one, get one half off, and the bigger ones like this are like $8. Um, and then the eyeshadow brushes are like $4. But the quality of it, I will, I will compare it to like the BH Cosmetics brushes, or even the e.l.f. brushes, or Sonya Kashuk. Kashuk, I don't know how to pronounce it, but the line at Target, these brushes remind me a lot of those, but they're cheaper. And then normally buy one, get one half off. And that's some icing. And I have several, but I just wanted to show you this one just because I don't like spending that much money on brushes, man. I just don't. Like, I, I never have bought MAC brushes. I guarantee you I never will. Um, So, I really do like icing brushes. And if you have not tried them, give them a shot. Um, And I also got this e.l.f. brush, like this flat top kabuki from e.l.f. And I only use this once, and it's already about to come apart. Like, it's not... Doing what I needed to do. I have some e.l.f. eyeshadow brushes that I've been using forever. And I haven't had any problems. So, I don't know why this one is about to break on me. But it feels good. Like, the brush itself feels good. So, that kind of saddens me. Last two items I want to show you. Um, I got this L'Oreal Color Rich Lip Liner Pencil in All Natural. It's an anti-feathering lip liner. I bought this to go with um, some nude lipsticks that I have, but this ended up being a little bit too nude also. That's it right there. It's meh. 
mm, it's all right. When I put it on my lips, it just disappears. Like, I don't know. I tried it. And then these glitters. These also came from icing. Um, this like glitter pot. This was like six dollars and fifty cents. And it has white, silver, gold, blue, pink, purple. No, that's a darker blue, and that's purple. Um very, very pretty glitters. Like I, I must be honest, they are really pretty. Um if you watch my videos that I just posted the other day, which videos were those? I had silver glitter on my eyes. I used the glitter from um from this. So, um, I think I'm gonna get the Too Faced glitter glue because when I put this glitter on, I just used the Max um Fix Plus spray and it worked, but I had a lot of fallout and a lot of issues and cleaning up and this drama fooling with this glitter. So I'm probably gonna get that glitter glue because I love it for the holidays. It's so pretty. And I just ordered a red glitter from BH Cosmetics that I'm expecting any day now um, that I want to do red glitter lips with. This is also what I used when I did the glitter lips. The, they were like pink and gold glitter lips. I used this. So this is a good product, especially for $6. I got all these colors, so I cannot complain at all. Um, like I said, this video was kind of long, so if you made it to the end, I appreciate you. Thanks for riding with me. Um, as always, thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions or anything, feel free to leave them below. And please subscribe. Okay, ladies? Thank you so much and have a wonderful evening. Quick side note. Anytime I do like a whole bunch of swatches on my hand and I wipe them off with a makeup wipe, I'm always curious to see if anything is going to stain my hand and what's going to be the hardest to get off and what's going to last the longest because it kind of gives me a clue to which products um, have the most longevity and which ones are just easily wiped away. And this is my hand after I took a makeup wipe and wiped off my swatches. The only thing I had left was that Red Passion by CoverGirl. So, and I like really scrubbed this and it's still there. So this red lipstick for five or six dollars will last you all day long. Um, just a quick side note, just want to throw that out there in case anybody cares. Um, it will also probably stain your lips, but you won't have to worry about reapplying it. So, just a quick side note. See y'all later. <laughs>